Hi all, welcome. Short video today, we'll just do a nail to nail cook. I think some pork loin, asparagus and maybe some potatoes. I've got the TP pretty much ready now, all the wood prep's done, or mostly. And I've got the Outbacker stove fired up. I, I had that stove sitting in the corner for a while, not using it, it was getting wet. It was uh, kept smoking out the TP. Turns out I think it was user error. So I uh, put it in the corner in anger and, and then I thought I'd try it again and actually a few tweaks and it's working perfectly fine now. I think one of the biggest problems I was doing was just overfilling the, the chamber to start and pushing the wood too far back and it was blocking the flue. The flue's on a slight angle, that's because the stove can't go back any further, the two slabs that it's on are hitting a root. So I think uh, I'll just do a, a few bits and pieces and we'll get cooking. Cheers! Right, so as I say for tonight's dinner we've got the pork loin, that's going to do that later. It's actually lunchtime now so I'm going to put a soup on for myself and I'm going to parboil some potatoes. Still a couple of hours until I'm going to cook, but I'm just going to take off some of the sinew here. It can be quite chewy, just to take it off. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on here, uh, some Cajun spice and some Singapore hot sauce. I don't want to put any salt on, that'll just draw out the moisture, we don't want to do that. Whoops. On a bit of an angle, I think. Singapore chili sauce, actually, that's what it's called. Well, need just a little bit of garlic. Leave that for a few hours and see how we go. A bit of peri peri salt. Go all over those potatoes there. I still got to put asparagus in, I'm not sure where that's going to fit. Get some over there as well. Uh, we'll squeeze it in somewhere. Sorry, I don't have any lighting proper. This is a head torch. It kind of moves about. I think what I'll do is I'll just get the asparagus in and hope for the best. Just whop it about in various different places. It'll get there, I guess. Right, I've just put a little bit of butter in there. I find with the Outbacker, it just puts out a heat. That's it, you know, I can't really, I can put a little bit more wood in, might get a little bit hotter, but it just sort of, emits this kind of heat. If I open up the door I might get a flame, I can make it a bit hotter. One pan cooking I'm starting to really like as well. This is pork loin so it's really one of the more cheaper cuts of meat now in the supermarket. There's no fat in it, which is probably something I need but then I've gone and put all this butter in. <laughs> It'll fry off.
Great, we've got the Outbacker stove door open there. That just uh, gets a bit more flame, a bit more heat. I've got water on the stove for gravy. I'm going to plate up now. It's not going to look the best. I'm, I'm still learning how to use this. It's been kind of stewing more than frying. But anyway, it's very difficult for me. You can see how dark it is in there. Uh, to actually film, I need to get a proper light. So I'll try to do my best circumstances that I've got. It's all ready. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to have this inside with the wife. And I will take this opportunity to thank you for watching right now. So cheers. Hope to see you again. One mushroom each. Okay, we'll cut up this pork loin. Should be perfectly fine, nice and cooked. Pork can go dry, that's why I put the butter in there a wee bit. A little bit of moisture retention. It's cooked fine. Looks nice actually. Okay, just a little bit of gravy. Whoops, spilled another plate there. Yeah, a little bit on there, right? I better get this inside. <laughs> some dodgy cooking but it'll be tasty okay, I've got some potato mushroom pork and asparagus the asparagus is actually really nice hmm 